It is two hours till I leave for the airport and I currently am not packed. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg if you're new here. Hi, welcome. I love you I put too much tan on my hands last night and I didn't mean to but I'm going on my holidays today Literally two hours from now. I'm traveling to the south of France to Nice to my apartment in Cannes I'm so excited. I haven't been there since September. It's my first holiday of summer and I'm just very very much looking forward to it and I've got so much planned over there but as of right now it is two hours till I leave for the airport and I currently am not packed. Let me show you. So I have things laid out and I have most of my stuff that I'm bringing picked. I'm pretty much ready to go but my problem is I don't have it all in the right places it needs to be. So basically I'm going to do this in sections and I'm bringing you guys along with me. It's going to be chaotic but we love chaos. It's great. I live for the thrill. I'm also only bringing two bags. So one is a handbag and then one is a carry-on bag. I regret my choice in doing this because I've always done this when I go on holidays but now I do content creation for a living and one of these small suitcases could fit the amount of camera equipment and tech I need alone. So lesson learned, next time I will actually just book a big bag on, but for now we are dealing with this mess that I call my life. So first up in the bathroom essentials is skincare. This is my little skincare bag. The problem with skincare is a lot of it is liquids and obviously when you're doing a carry-on you can only bring a certain amount of liquids and they all have to be 100 ml. So I now have to very selectively pick out my skincare of what I need and what I can bring. Now the only thing is I'm very very lucky and grateful that this is actually my own family apartment that we're going down to. I do already have a few bits down there. So yesterday I grabbed three of these little kind of squeezy bottles from Boots. So first I definitely need to bring my CeraVe face wash. This is unfortunately not 100 ml so I have to put that into one of them. I'm going to bring my La Roche-Posay face sunscreen. I have to bring, this is my favorite moisturizer that is definitely coming with me. Yeah, this is coming with me as well. This is my Marula oil from The Ordinary. I use this on my hair and my face. This is like a night repair moisturizer. Do I need it? I want to bring it. No, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to bring, even though it's bigger, possibly too bulky, even though it's 100 ml. I'm obsessed with this overnight, what is it? Kiehl's overnight rehydrating mask. I really, really love this stuff. And I feel like it would be really good after like a long day at the beach, dry skin, it needs it. Oh my God, I have to pick between these two and I don't want to. Oh, you're like asking me to pick my favorite child here. It's not easy, lad. I'm gonna come back to that one. I'm going to bring my Olaplex number three. I love a hair mask on a holiday because my hair gets wrecked. This is my Olaplex shampoo and I'm gonna to have to bring this. I'm gonna to have to because I love it so much. So I'm gonna put it into one of these squeezy bottles. <laughs> Olaplex secured. So the other stuff that aren't liquids that I have in this bag, I've got some cotton pads. I have my cleansing balm from the body shop. This is really great at taking off makeup. I have a razor from Estrid with a new razor head on it as well. I have my deodorant as well. So now we've got makeup to sort through. I'm realizing this is such a huge mistake trying to fit all this stuff into a carry-on bag. It's just not gonna happen. But this is my makeup bag currently and it is incredibly full and I need to sort through my absolute bare essentials, what kind of makeup I need for this holiday. So I don't tend to wear makeup too much on holidays. I tend to just really focus on my skincare and have glowy skin and focus on that during a holiday. So first things first, we get a little bit oily on holidays. So I'm gonna bring my Laura Mercier loose powder and I'm gonna bring this little powder brush for it. I'm gonna bring this Pillow Talk eyeliner. It's kind of like a maroony color and it really, really complements my blue eyes. For mascara, I'm just gonna bring one. 
and it's going to be this Maybelline Sky High one. I really, really like this product. Very affordable and really holds my lashes all day long as well as just giving me very beautiful eyelashes, which I love. Okay, next I'm going to bring blush and highlight, but I've got like a few to pick from. Which do I choose? Which do I choose? Okay, I'm going to go for this peachy colored blush from Rare Beauty. And I'm also going to bring the Rare Beauty highlight as well. For foundation, I'm going to bring my NARS. But the problem is this is a liquid as well. I'm definitely going to have to cut out some skincare in order to make room for this bad boy. I'm just going to bring one eyeshadow palette and it is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk one. I think it would be nice for this holiday. And it's small and compact, which we need. I think I'm going to switch out my liquid highlight for this one from Bare Minerals. I also want to bring my Rare Beauty Contour Stick. Eyeshadow brush. Concealer for my concealer. So these are all the brushes I'm going to bring. And Beauty Blender, of course. Okay, so this is everything I'm bringing as of right now. Okay, it is time for the best part. It's the clothes, ladies. So first things first. I have a fun package I want to open. It's from Jurf Avenue. Recently, I got the white breezy shirt, but I got two more pieces. And luckily, they arrived just on time. So yeah, let's unpack them. I got the gray skirt. It's like, it's like a gray knitted skirt, but it looks super soft super comfy i'd wear it with a t-shirt cute top all that good stuff so i am very excited about this and bring it on my holidays and i got this top so it's the one that has the little bows at the front and these cute sleeves Can you imagine me on holidays wearing this i'm so excited. So I got some packing cubes from Sauce and Green just yesterday. I should have gotten two packs because they're actually very handy. So this packing cube has all of my tops. I'm going to quickly run through these. Cute little blue crochet top. This is a strapless crochet top and it is very adorable. This little hot pink number. This cute little bandeau top is so adorable. Simple white halter neck. Cropped blue tank top. This little halter neck top. I cannot wait to wear this. And this little plain white t-shirt. So I'm bringing two shirts with me. This Jurf Avenue one that I just showed you and this white Jurf Avenue one as well. I got this recently and honestly it is one of the nicest shirts I've ever ever owned. It's the most perfect fit of all time and I just love it. So it's absolutely perfect for holidays. So my next category is skirts and dresses. So first up is this dress. I got this last summer and I loved it and I wore it to death and I'm gonna wear it again this summer obviously because that is what we do. We use, we wear, we keep wearing, we don't stop wearing. This is a new dress in my wardrobe and it's adorable. I wore it to my movie premiere. I love it so much. This is this beautiful like maxi dress and it's just very cute. Very happy with that. I really feel like maxi dresses are just my thing now in the sense that for a long time I, I love the idea of wearing dresses but I just never feel completely comfortable in a mini dress. There's just something about it that I just feel like nervous in it. I don't you know feel that confident in it but when I wear a maxi dress I just feel so good and I feel like it really compliments me, so. I also have this gorgeous little dress. It's a long maxi one as well. The best things about a lot of the stuff that I'm bringing is I can wear them casually in the daytime, but I can also dress them up at night. I think that's the key to a wardrobe in general. I also have this black dress from Skims and it is so sexy, stunning, gorgeous on. I have this like halter neck mini dress from Abercrombie. So there we go. All my dresses in this little cube and it's very convenient. So I'm going to keep packing and I'll chat you through at the end what all I've added.
Okay, my suitcase is closed. Just about. Just about. If I open that thing back up, I'm actually scared. I'm not gonna get it closed again. So now we move on to the handbag slash carry-on I'm allowed to bring with me. I'm being a little cheeky in the bag that I'm bringing, which I show you. So this is the bag that I'm bringing as a handbag. It's a very small, like, sports bag. It is basically a handbag, but I have quite a bit to get in it, lads. This is, this is looking difficult. First things first, I have my laptop. I got a new case for it. It is from Sauce and Green. I'm also gonna put my iPad in here with this. Laptop is first thing that's going in. I have this little case which has my camera lenses and other little camera bits. This bag which has more camera bits and equipment. They're my three biggest things that I've got to fit in here right now. And I'm scared. Ooh, I also managed to get my liquids into a bag. I'm bringing two books. I don't really have room for both, but I'm bringing both anyway. I'm just in the mood for a little bit of a romantic read type holiday, so they've got to go in there and they magically fit. Who would have thought? Not me. So the ASOS delivery driver just got here. I bought this little, what do you call it, like bum bag. I get really nervous flying and like it's mostly the airport that freaks me out. So being able to have like my passport and everything, my wallet all here that I'm easily able to just grab stuff instead of having to like dig through my bag makes me feel a little more relaxed. I'm literally just gonna wear it like this underneath the jacket so they don't like basically tell me I have to pay like 600 euro to check this bag in. I will link it down below for you guys because I think it's a very handy like travel that type bag to have so far the bag is nearly full i literally have to go like very 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 soon okay so it's nearly time to go last thing i'm packing myself because this is now my new baby so we've got a lot of compartments in this thing let's open first things first passport obviously crucial, cannot forget, must have. Then we have my glasses because I need to be able to see, but they're dirty, so I need to clean them. Then here we have a lollipop to keep me going and my favorite lip balm of all time ever. <laughs> I feel like a wilderness explorer or something. This compartment we've got hair ties and bobbin and then here we have my wallet, sunglasses. I think that's just about everything. I need to get my AirPods and put them in here as well. But I am bringing my headphones for the plane because these are Bang & Olufsen headphones. Usually very expensive, but last time I was at the airport, they were like 400 euro down to like 100. So I was like, win, I'm buying them. I did and I absolutely love them. But these are very much my like editing headphones when I really need to hear very well. But these also have incredible noise cancelling. So that's why I want to bring them on the plane. And I need to download things for the plane. I think I'm going to download Obi-Wan because I haven't watched it yet because I've been busy watching Stranger Things. Let me put my whole outfit together and then we're going. I feel like I'm actually pregnant with this thing. Like I feel like holding it like a baby. <laughs> So I'm fully packed and ready to go with my bags that I hope to God they don't make me pay like 10 hundred euro to... What's 10 hundred euro? 10 hundred euro. I've never said that before. I don't know what that even means. Anyway, I am going to get going now because I don't want to miss my flight. I am going out of Belfast. I'm going with EasyJet. My mom booked it all because she is an icon and I love her. She's the best. But I'm gonna get going. I'm traveling on my own. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also kind of excited. We'll see how I get on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and please stay tuned because there's gonna be lots of South of France content on my Instagram, TikTok, and then on here as well. I love you all so, so much. Wish me luck. I'll let you know if I make it through with all my bags. I love ya.